starting off with my mini twist of course make sure you check out that tutorial if you haven't already it's on my channel so the first style is super easy it's just two low ponytails I love to leave hair out in the front it's kind of my style but you can always of course pin your hair back if you want a cleaner look I just use one hair tie per side my hair is already split in half because I wear my hair in two buns a lot so I just already parted my hair in four sections evenly instead of just um, doing it horizontally across. So you can do it that way or you can just split your hair as best you can into two halves. Make sure your two ponytails are even. Super simple. I like how long they hang. The next style you would twist your hair and wrap it around the ponytail to make a bun. You can see me do that again next, but I take another hair tie to secure my ends. Sometimes I like when hair is sticking out the buns as well. This is by far my favorite hairstyle. I'd say number one favorite. I always wear my hair in two buns. It's like keeps my ends tucked away and hair out of my face, but still have some twist hanging for a little style and use of the mini twist. The next style I'm doing two high buns. Use the same method. Start by using one hair tie. Try to get your hair as even as you can. It's a little harder when they're higher up. So then I use that same method. I take my ends, I twist my hair, and then wrap it around the ponytail to make a bun. Twist my ends, wrap, and use a second hair tie. Here I'm starting to notice that my hair is a little uneven, not exactly symmetrical. I took it down and tried to fix it because I'm like, this is way off. <laughs> so here's it a little fixed, a little more even. Nice cute Mickey Mouse buns, not perfect, but you get the idea. Next time, I'm bringing back the MySpace days. <laughs> I tried to twist my the back of my hair but it kind of didn't work so I just scoop, swooped it to the side take your ends, twist and wrap it around the ponytail to make a bun looks less like my space right now cute style going out at night with friends or on a date the next style reminds me of the girl with the red hair on recess if you remember that cartoon she had the two saggy buns so you just pinch your hair at the, like the bottom half you twist it and bring the bottom one fourth <laughs> up to make little buns. I'm trying to use measurements here so y'all can judge the distance. That was like top three favorite. Penny back my hair that I want to leave out in my face. Bring it bring your hair close to your forehead, but not too too close because you don't want it like unicorn 
ponytail. But bring it further up than center of your head. Take another hair tie and put it in the middle of the ponytail to get some height. Now you have a little fountain. And you just take your ends and twist them around the ponytail, hide that hair tie in the middle. Put another hair tie on it to give it some security. Now we need to give the bun some height. So you take some bobby pins and pin them, pin them in the middle of the bun. You can do it horizontal or diagonal. Pull your hair up straighter to make it a little more narrow. I add more bobby pins in the middle, give it more height. I really love this one. Here's a style if your twists are looking kind of old or you just have a cold day, it's raining, it's snowing, it's cold in general. Take a turban, fold it in half, and then you just tuck and twist. I do have a turban tutorial with about 12 different ways to tie in case you do want to learn how else you can wear your twists or wear turbans in general. Here's another way you can wear the turban. I'm doing a low bun with my hair. Usually I put on a satin scarf or a bonnet, but I was too lazy to do it in this video. But I do like to protect my hair when I put cloth on it. Grab the back and twist it together. And then you wrap it around and tuck the end of the scarf. This is a nice simple look. You can replace like a beanie or a hood. Instead it's like a cute scarf. Not a fashionista but I was trying to show y'all how I would wear this I do have various colors so maybe not the yellow but you can wear black or a nice pattern turban as well this next style is definitely my top three favorite probably my second favorite it's your two braided twist all the way back And you do this as you would your typical braids. Start at the front, grab like two or three twists, start braiding and feed in more as you get down. You can try to do a two twist in general, but I think the braided I think the braided type stays better. I put a hair tie on the end just to give it a little more weight so it's not sticking down all the way. And you can Put a scarf on these two if they're sticking down just to tie them better. So just remember to get all those twists so you don't leave any out while braiding. I really like this style and from far away you can't even tell I have any twists. So it's a great way to switch up your mini twists. Put another hair tie to weigh it down some. Kind of flying away, but you get the idea. The next style, you just take your ends and do a crown looking braid. You can do a full crown braid, but this one's just simpler if you just take the ends and tuck those so you have two styles in one. Make sure to tuck your ends properly, mine are kind of lazily done. <laughs> this next style is also my favorite, I feel like I'm saying that a lot. <laughs> I do love these styles. It's like a ponytail that is not secured fully. So you take a hair tie and instead of wrapping it around multiple times, you pin it to your head. This is one of my favorite methods to do my ponytail. I have a high puff tutorial like this and a low puff tutorial like this on my channel. So I'm like, might as well do it with my mini twists. Just pull that hair tie as far out as it will go 
and then pin it to your head. So that way you don't have to risk creasing your hair in case you want to keep your twist nice and straight. It also gives your ponytail more length, but still pulls it out of your face. Our next style is one braided twist, or actually one twisted braid, <laughs> all the way back. Just really simple. Try to get all those twists if you can. I did leave one out. And I do put a hair tie at the bottom as well to keep it secure and to weigh it down some. I would do a fresh braid, but I don't know how, so actually I wouldn't do a fresh braid. Next style, you take like the first one or two rows of your twist, depending on how thin or thick they are, and you braid them. You can also twist them. I think I am just twisting my twists. <laughs> and this, you can leave your hair down, but still have it out of your face. It's like a cute hair headband. I split my hair in half and then twist that. Just to make my bun smaller, tuck in my ends better. This next style reminds me of like a ballerina bun, mini twist edition. Pull all your hair to the crown of your head. And of course, put in a hair tie. This is really simple. I like the look of it. I leave my two front pieces out. And then take your ends, wrap it around, and get another hair tie to secure that. This is a nice simple bun out of the way. Couldn't leave out the classic half up, half down. Now I'm bringing the front half of my hair on both sides. ponytail or bun. So these are all my styles for my mini twists. Thanks for watching. Super simple but can spice up your mini twists in case you're starting to get bored with them or they're starting to look crazy. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.